Hello friends, welcome to another video in the series of setting up CI/CD for Android app using GitHub Actions. Till now what we have done is we have discussed the entire flow of the CI/CD and we have created two stages one for Android lint check and another one for unit test cases. In today's video we will see how to add instrumentation test cases and run them after we have passed both these checks. So let's uh, look at the code and see how uh, this can be implemented. First of all we will see what test cases we have. So there are two classes for Android test cases and both of them will require the emulator. So what I have done is I have set up the emulator, it's running and let us run the test cases. It's running them and you should see the expense manager coming up, yeah. So test cases are running and it's passing successfully. Now let's try and open the report and see how it looks. So reports you can find inside app, build, reports, there you will have Android test cases connected and inside that we will have index.html which is our primary file. And you can see both the classes or, or both the packages are there and inside this package you will see the test class. So we have around 7 test cases. So now let us try to set up this using github actions. So we will go to our main.yaml file and as we have already set up the lint and the unit test cases, now we will set up the instrumentation test case and we will run the instrumentation test case only once unit test cases pass. So that's why we have added needs check which says it needs unit test to pass and since we require an emulator we will run it on a Mac machine because emulators on Mac machines are faster. Oh, the first step is to check out the code base so that our expense manager code base is available on that Mac machine. Then we will run our espresso test cases and for that we will use this android emulator runner github action and we will start the emulator with api29 and then we will run the same command that we ran in our local machine and once it passes we will upload the report using upload artifact action and this is the same path that we just saw and the name of the artifact will be instrumentation test report. So now let's check this code in. I will add this and commit add instrumentation tests. Okay. And the moment I push this, it will start running on the GitHub. So let's push the code base and wait for it. Okay, since I have added few things in the readme file, that's why it's saying to take a pull. Okay, now that we have taken the pull, push the code. Now let's go to GitHub and see if our action has started. Let's go to the actions tab and you see our test cases are running. So currently lint is running and then the unit test, test cases will run and finally you will see the instrumentation test cases. Let's go to lint and see where we are. Okay, the lint has passed. Now it will start the unit test cases. And 
once the unit test cases are done, it will start executing the instrumentation test cases. Okay, it has started running the test cases. And meanwhile, let's also look at the summary, how it looks. Yeah. So lint has passed, unit test, test cases are running. And it also shows the time. So lint took around 1 minute and 35 seconds. Unit test cases are running since 33 seconds. And then finally, we'll see instrumentation test cases. Let's go back to our unit test case. So as we can see, it's running. It has started the data task and it's done as well it's uploading the test report and upload is also complete and the unit test cases have passed now we should see our instrumentation test cases that we just added so let's wait for it to start and again in the summary, you should see the entire pipeline, lint, unit test case and instrumentation test case, which is very similar to what we discussed initially, lint, unit test, instrumentation test. Let's go back and let's look at our instrumentation test. It has checked out the code base and now it will start running the test cases. And it will take a bit longer because it will also start the emulator on the machine and it will wait for that process and then it will actually start running the test cases now as you can see it's setting up the Android SDK and it's starting the emulator now and once the emulator start is done then it will start executing the test cases. Okay, now it has started running the test case. And soon it should get finished. It's compiling the code base. Compilation is done. Now it will generate an APK file so that it can run test against it. Package, yes. Seven test cases, they are starting. And it's a success. So our test cases have run successfully and finally it will upload the report and if we go back to our summary we should see the test report for instrumentation test let us download it let's download it and as you can see our test cases has passed and we can see the complete report this is how we can set up instrumentation testing using GitHub Actions and we have completed three stages. In the next video, we will see how to set up static code analysis for Android using GitHub Actions. Till then, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. Happy coding. Bye.